all right what is going on guys welcome back to another video i know it's been quite some time since i posted it and i know a lot of you guys are here for the dark horse which we'll get into that in the next few videos um but there's gonna be some crazy plans for this thing this year if you guys are here for that and a bunch of other cars too this channel is going to change slightly we're going to be at the detail shop a lot this year uh, we're going to be doing a lot of cool things with all of the cars that come through there so if you guys want to see that make sure that you guys drop a like subscribe and uh, let's head on to the point of this video which would be the f-150 lightning um, i know it's kind of like the polar opposite of this 500 horsepower v8 but we did go ahead and pick up one of the xlt extender range um, lightnings and let me just tell you guys this thing is extremely fast uh, we're gonna get into it all in this video we're taking it to the detail shop right now actually we're gonna be getting it ceramic coated probably like just a polish before that to paint correct a little bit and then yeah uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of some graphics on the hood and potentially the side, I don't really know. Uh, Jake, the guy from the detail shop, actually <laughs> said that he cooked up some pretty cool stuff. I said that I wanted it to kind of resemble the um, Dark Horse uh, decals on there, because if you guys can't tell, let me get them kind of in the same picture. They are exactly the same color. So uh, they're gonna be like a little matching pair. This thing has 580 horsepower and 70, 75, 775 torque, which you guys will also see in this video. It's it's insane. If you guys have not driven a high power EV, um, <laughs> you gotta at least get a ride along in one because the instant torque is crazy. Let's go ahead and hop in though. I'll show you guys. So this is what the interior is looking like. It's honestly very, very nice. I obviously did not get the Lariat, so I don't have leather seats, but we do have 100% charge and 335 miles of range which is crazy so we're gonna go ahead and start this thing up and uh, it's honestly I love this screen because if you guys know on the dark horse the dark horse has the buttons that are in the screen and those like yeah I don't hate the buttons in the screen but I prefer for just my daily obviously this is kind of more my daily I'm gonna be dailying the dark horse during the summer but I kind of prefer the buttons just there for heat cool heated seats like turning the fan up and down switching if I want defrost on or not it's just so much faster and seamless to have it as buttons um, I'm sure some of you guys that have the uh you know the long um the long big screen right here uh can kind of vouch for me it is kind of annoying to have to touch the uh touch the little screen down there all the time and kind of find where it is where you can just kind of memorize where the button is but i don't know why i'm rambling on so much about that because i don't care that much but it is it is a nice little luxury to have um and just kind of the more base model but uh yeah 335 miles range 100 percent charge and uh yeah let's see what my my overall trip so we've gone 720 miles already i bought this thing brand new uh we're at 1.7 kilowatts or miles per kilowatt which that should go up it's been really cold here in ohio so um that's obviously why we haven't seen too much of the dark horse but um once we get on the road and on the highway i'll do like an entry to highway this thing is this thing's nuts man it, you'll hear the tire screech probably it's really cool let's see what type of range we get on the way there i'll update a couple things on the way there and then um, once we get there we're going to talk to jake about what he wants to do and uh it's going to be a lot of fun all right well we're about to get some acceleration because i have not showed you guys yet this thing is crazy we'll get to, uh i'll show you guys it is it is absolutely insane the zero to 60 i'm pretty sure is technically faster than my dark horse i believe but uh let's go ahead and get this here it is nuts all right here we go yep and just like that we are instantly at 45. I mean, it's it's instant. I kind of eased into it slightly just because there was unfortunately a dude that pulled out in front of me here. But the speed is crazy. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get a lot of cool stuff done with this. Um, I want to race some actually pretty quick cars. I know it's electric, so it's not really um, a competition to see if the electric is faster than gas because obviously we know that it is. Um, at least acceleration but uh, top end I actually want to see what this thing could hang with or what the speed limiter is I think that the speed limiter is at 120 I could be wrong but I've never seen any top speed runs on the Ford Lightning so you guys might see that first here on this channel so uh, 
yeah um even entry to highway we'll get entry to highway up here it's it doesn't stop man like it it goes you guys could hear the tire screeching through all of that it is all time all wheel drive which helps it claw out of that um out of that dig so i mean it it's awesome it is not a sporty car to drive like you know if we're if we're going around curves and stuff you're not gonna be you're not gonna be flying this thing is heavy it is still a truck i'll show you guys the suspension once we get to jake's shop it is insane it, it's really really cool but uh man let's go ahead and um get entry to highway once we get over there all right here we go we've got some entry to highway coming up we'll start off at about 50 ish um like i said i'm not gonna be flying around this curve because this thing is not easy to control and honestly i'm not all that used to the power yet um so i don't want to end up over there um but let's go ahead and see how it is starting off from um i guess about 50 here we go i'm not gonna let off so let's see okay yeah no this thing this thing moves up to 100 pretty uh pretty quick this thing definitely moves definitely impressive all right let's go ahead and um yeah this thing is definitely impressive pretty cool that absolutely drained my range though we're already down to 325 we were at like 2.5 miles per kilowatt now we're at 1.8 but uh up to 100 pretty pretty fast honestly really fast but now we are just cruising at uh 77 about 80 uh yeah as you guys can tell this thing rides amazing it is absolutely insane how well it rides for a truck um 10 out of 10 recommend it as a daily honestly but uh, it's super, super quiet in here, as you guys can tell, super comfortable. Um, it's one of the main reasons why I got it. It's just so, such a perfect daily for me to be able to drive down into the shop. Now, obviously, I'll be taking the dark horse down here too. But uh, when I want to save a little bit of money on gas and, um, you know, maybe have a little bit more comfort on the way there, this thing is going to be the way to go. Um, so I think from now, um, I'll just see you guys once we make it to the shop. I'll update miles per kilowatt and stuff, but uh, we don't get that well because we um, go a little bit faster than you're supposed to. If you kind of slow down um, and go like 65, 70, you get a lot more range out of it, but um, who wants to do that? So go ahead and see you guys once we're at the shop. I'll update you with plans on the wrap and, uh, or the decals, I guess, not technically wrap, but um, the wrap decals and the uh, ceramic coating and stuff. So see you guys there. Sorry guys, I know every time that I say, uh, you know, we're done, we're done talking in the car, I find another thing that I wanna talk about in this video because this is somewhat an overview of the Lightning. Um, I'm gonna do an in-depth review or multiple of them, doing a bunch of tests, you know. Um, I do have a Tanu cover on, so we're gonna see if that makes a difference in mileage, which so far it seems like that actually hurts the mileage. But uh, yeah, we do have um, assisted, I believe it's just technically called uh, lane keeping assist, but honestly, it's almost like autopilot in this thing. As you can see kind of over there in the right side, let me see if I can get a little bit closer actually. So it's a little sideways, but this thing right here where you can see the, the car with the two blue lines beside it, um, that means that we are in lane keeping assist and then it senses the front for any cars that are incoming or that you're coming up on, it'll adjust the speed. Uh, you can change lanes and if you turn your blinker on, it's actually really seamless. But uh, this is honestly so chill. All you gotta do is keep your hand on the steering wheel like with, I don't know, two pounds of pressure and that's all you have to do it pretty much drives for you now i know that they have something called blue cruise in this which if anybody does have a lightning that has that blue cruise with the eye tracking let me know down in the comments if you ever have a hands-free like completely hands-free thing because all of the videos that i watched it seems as if you do have to keep your hands on the wheel either way so like why would you pay extra for it to track your eyes because then you can't you know if if you need to do something and you're um you know for example recording or something while driving it makes it just a lot easier if it kind of just keeps the lane for you i mean you can tell it does a really good job a lot of people on youtube talk about ping ponging um i have not had that issue like i'm not bouncing back and forth between the lanes or anything like that it's super super smooth i've had no issues with it but I don't know let me know down in the comments guys if anyone has a lightning with the blue cruise um which is technically autopilot i believe too 
either one I think that they're the same thing the other one I just think has eye tracking um, and then it has like pre-mapped highways which as you can see I can take my hands completely off the wheel sometimes but then I mean it'll drive for me like we're going around a curve but it will start to yell at me in just a second here I'll show you guys what that looks like um, obviously always be ready to grab the wheel if you have to but yeah see it'll say keep hands on steering wheel and then eventually it will start beeping yep it just beeped once at me but uh, super easy super seamless really easy to drive now I think I'll see you guys at the shop All right, so we are pulling in now. We have 225 mile range left, 1.8 kilowatts, which is actually really good. Cause as you guys saw, I was not driving conservatively at all. Let's see how much battery percentage we have left. I believe that we used less than 20%. Uh, yeah, we are at 81% battery left. So pull up to the shop now. Um, I'm gonna say hi to him cause I haven't seen him in a bit. But uh, once we start going over the truck, I will um, start explaining what's going on. So. That's what we're looking like. Let's see what we look like on the way back home though. All right, so we have the plan for the whole truck. We're gonna be wrapping this little insert on the grill, which is, that's actually sick that he said that because I wanted that done. We're gonna do the inserts on here all the way down. So nothing in the middle, like I said earlier. Um, Just because we don't think it'll match what we're about to say next. And uh, we're gonna do this line all the way down to back here it's going to swoop in a tiny bit in here and then from here down to this swoop will be also black and it is going to be gloss black and not matte black so it's going to look honestly a lot better he kind of cooked with the idea because i was thinking satin and uh gloss will look a lot better um if you guys know the roushes do a little bit of a design here too so it'll look a little bit like that but obviously a little different because it's not going to trail off at the end like the uh, Roushes do. But that is the plan. We're actually about to get tint on right now. So you guys will see tint in this video too. Probably the whole wrapping process in this video as well. So you guys are gonna see a lot in this one. Um, so we're gonna get started, but uh, tint first. So we're gonna see just how much of a difference tint makes. Should look a lot better with even just tint. And then obviously polish, ceramic coat, but you guys won't see that in the video, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get this thing going, get the tin on, and uh, see you guys once that's on. All right, so I just started the lightning to go get tint, and if you guys can see that, it is at 70% charge, which if you guys remember, when we turned it off, it said 81. So not too sure what's going on with that. I think that it's just readjusting or something, but that doesn't make sense. I feel like the percentage shouldn't be off. If the range is off, that's one thing, but percentage being off, that could get you stranded somewhere. So we're gonna see throughout this whole video, you know, the trip back and everything too. I think it should all be one video. It might be two, depending on how long this gets. But uh, yeah, 70% left, um, 194 miles. I think we were at 225. So I don't know, we lost 10, 11% in 30, 40 miles. So weird, but we're gonna go get this tinted. See you guys there. We are looking much better. We just got matching tints on the front and back. Well, no tint on the back or the back window because it's tinted from the factory already. But just to match it, 20% on the two front windows. Already looking a lot good. It's gonna look really good with all the black, um, I guess, decals and stuff that we're putting on it. So yeah, this thing's gonna look really mean when it's done. Honestly, it should look really good, especially for an electric truck. But uh, we're gonna get this thing washed up and start, um, Start getting it ready for the wrap and ceramic coating and everything. She is looking mean already. So much better. It actually looks like a nice truck now.
about to start polishing already and back in the back we are started kind of already with wrapping too we've got the go over this again we yeah. haven't done anything listen yet. We, we have done we've nothing done, yet. We've done the knifeless tape, okay? It's it's on there. It's ready. We're gonna be putting this uh it is, it is going to be gloss black. It's gonna look sick. But we're we're getting started. This thing's gonna be done uh pretty quickly. And also, if you guys want to see some cool stuff about uh that Miata back there, it's um fully built 1.8 to 1.9. Check out my TikTok, link in the description. Um but yeah, we're gonna get this thing going. I'll show a cool little bit of b-roll, we'll maybe get a time lapse in here. Um yeah, it's gonna look sick. All right, so we are cutting it off for the night on the lightning. We got this done, which looks awesome. We got this only this side done because I want to see how it looked with just this compared to all the way down. Looks great with it just um, to that part. And then we didn't do this yet, but this is going to tie in really good with that. And we got the F-150 letters on there. Looks really, really great. The whole side is done. And as you guys saw before, the back is done, but I want to give you guys a comparison of like what this side looks like compared to over here. Definitely a lot more muted on this side. Uh, just from starting at the bed, there's not as much detail. This makes a huge difference in person, especially I'm sure you guys can tell on the video too. Yeah, so you guys will see me back here um, on Friday. It'll be all in the same video because I just want to do it all in the same one. But for now, this is how she's sitting. Jake, you did a good job. I won't see you Friday, but uh, we'll be picking this up on Friday. So um, I will see you guys on Friday. All right, so it is a few days later. Sorry if it's a little bit windy, but the lightning is done and it looks so sick. As you guys can tell just right off the bat, um, hopefully you guys can see it. The lighting is really, really good here. Um, but like we showed in the last little clip, we got the F-150 in there. We got the stripe on the side. And I think that my favorite part, which honestly, after seeing it, should have been stock on these lightnings from the factory, is this just little black inlet there. It just adds some contour to it, adds a little bit of depth, and I think that it looks amazing. The hood stripes are not too in your face. You guys are probably getting blasted by wind, but the hood stripes are not super, super in your face. Like at some angles, they kind of like disappear, which is actually really cool. I like that a lot. Obviously, we've got the tire shine on there. It looks amazing. The tint looks so good. And then honestly, my favorite part is the back here. Um, just the tailgate looks so nice. And as you can see in the shadows, this, this side kind of like disappears. And if you walk over more, you can see it more. It looks so sick. Super, super happy with this. Um, you know, it is just my daily. It's just a Ford Lightning, which you can't really tell now unless you know what you're looking at with the wheels and stuff. But uh, it's going to be funny to see... Um, to see people kind of looking at this truck and then realizing that it's electric. I'm getting a lot of hate for the fact that it's electric, but I'm gonna have to make a video about why, or a few videos probably, about explaining why electric is actually super, super nice as a daily. As you guys know, I've got the dark horse. You know, I'm not against gas engines. I love V8s, I love big engines, but electric for daily is so nice. So what we're gonna do is uh, just wrap this video up here. It was a really, really, fun experience honestly i've never really kind of messed with one of my daily cars before so this is a first for me let me know in the comments what you guys think about it because um i'd love to hear your guys opinions you know things that you would have done differently um or you know if you just hate it all around or if you would have done more um just put down in the comments what you guys think and uh yeah if you guys are new drop a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one